hello friends so in this session we are going to discuss the values of different trigonometric ratios for some specific angles so we are going to start with angle equal to 0 degree that means in this case if you see the angle which angle i am talking about i am talking about bac so angle bac here is 52.88 degrees so at different different values of uh, angle what are the values of trigonometric ratios we are interested in, interesting we are interested to know now the thing is we are not going to discuss all uh, angles we are going to discuss only some specific angles because uh, there will be infinitely many possibilities of angles and for that there will be six ratios for all angles we'll have so for any given angle we'll have six ratios possible but we are going to restrict only to only those ang specific angles for example some standard values like 0 degree then 45 degrees 30 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees so in this session we are going to start with the angle 0 and 90 and let us let us see what are the values of different t, t ratios when angle alpha is 0 or theta is 0 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this point B towards the x axis and try to make the angle 0. So as you can see I'm moving this point B towards the x axis the perpendicular length is getting shortened and shortened while the base B is increasing and eventually as B coincides with point C the length of the base is now equal to the radius. So if you can see base has become equal to the length of the radius the perpendicular has just vanished that means there is no perpendicular any further or the length of perpendicular is zero so you can see p upon h here is zero right similarly b upon h base is one radius h is one so hence it is zero so cos of zero is one sine of zero is zero tan of zero is zero because again perpendicular length is zero cosecant is in undefined actually so undefined means why because the perpendicular length is zero and secant is secant zero is one because both h and b are one and cot again is undefined though it has been shown as infinity over here now uh, if you see uh, as now i will move this point b back towards y axis now alpha value or theta value in this case is changing and now the base is getting reduced and the perpendicular is constantly getting increased and now as i merge this point b on the y axis now if you see p is now equal to h which is equal to 1 right h is equal to 1 and p has now become uh, same as hypotenuse so there is no triangle any further but the length p the, the perpendicular length p is 1 and hypotenuse is one anyways which was our defined length of the two triangles and now the base has disappeared it is zero right and accordingly if you see sine theta is p upon h which has become one now so 90 sine 90 is one cos 90 is zero tan 90 is again very huge number because you are dividing b is zero so you are dividing a number by zero which is almost infinity but we say it is not defined because dividing by zero is not defined cosecant is 1 upon sine so you can get you can see 1 here secant is again h by b or hypotenuse by base so base adjacent is 0 here so b value is 0 so hence again it is undefined it is showing some very big number over here and cot theta is b by p again 0 why because b is 0 and p is 1 right so hence we saw that sine of 90 so you can see sine of 90 is 1 and sine of 0 is 0 while cos of 90 is 0 cos of 0 is 1 so you have to basically remember all these values if you, if you know sine and cos you can find out all other values because we know how to convert all the t ratios in terms of the other ratios we have seen this in the previous such sessions now we'll take up the same thing for different angles some other standard angles like uh, 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees 